one more round of our game show, Under Pressure. Ooh, feeling the pressure. Now in this round, you are the judges. You are the adjudicators. I need you to listen very carefully and help me decide which team comes out with the points in this round. So I have asked each musician to prepare us a little something special, a little trick, a little flair, maybe something that they know they do just brilliantly. And they're going to show off. This is, I mean, a round to show off. So, we're going to listen very carefully, and at the end of the round, we're going to cheer for the team that we think gets the points for this round. So, let us start <clears throat> for a blue sparkly star point. Brian, are you ready? I, I shocked you. No, I think I'm ready. You're ready? I think so. Okay. Would you like me to hold this piece of paper for no, you? No, I'll hold it while I... You're going to hold? Is that your talent? <laughs> Playing with paper. All right. Take it away. What have so, you got for us? One of the things that you can do with a cello, it's kind of like a big drum, so you can do things like that. Cellists, take note. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You might see me do that in a minute. Oh. You never know. Okay, okay. So the cello can double as percussion. I like that. I don't know if I've ever heard a cellist really do that before. That's really interesting. Okay, cool. Sharon? What do you have for us? Well, most of the time I play over here, but it's really cool to go. <laughs> uh, Sharon, are you asked to do that a lot as a violist? Is it written a lot in music? Today I will be doing that. Oh, okay. We're getting a taste of perhaps what is to come next. All right, Jonathan. What have you got for us? Okay, so normally with a violin, you put the bow on the string like this. Uh-huh. It seems very difficult. But, and you put the fingers down. But if you put no fingers down and just kind of throw the bow, you get kind of... Does that have a name? What is it called? This technique. Jeté. Jeté. Throw the bow. To throw the bow. Okay. Not like that. <laughs> Don't throw the bow. Don't to throw the bow. And uh, Andrew, what do you have for us? I'm going to play my violin like a guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not how a guitar works. That's not how a guitar works. <laughs> Andrew, were you, were you playing specific notes with your fingers? No, I'm not putting my fingers down. So if I put my fingers down, it can sound like this. Does that sound like a guitar? Yeah. A little bit more, a little closer. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Okay, so we have the violin played by guitar. We have throwing the bow, jeté, on team uh, even more awesome than most awesome exclamation mark. Uh, we have using the cello as percussion, and Sharon was showing us playing behind the bridge. Behind the bridge. Now, do you feel ready to give the points yet? Yeah. You, you do feel ready? Because yeah. I was thinking, what if we listen? What if we get them to put all of those things in some music and then we decide? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's hear. You know, those are little demonstrations. But can these things, they're very unorthodox. They're not what I'm used to hearing. So I'm wondering, can they work in a piece of music, these things you've proposed? All right. We've got a piece of music. Let's check it out.
interesting, very unusual. Perhaps you're going to go home and try some of those new techniques on your string instruments. Perhaps you're going to go home and try some new techniques on your other instruments, but maybe things you've never thought of, ways of playing them before. Now, I have a question. Uh, this piece is written about what? It was probably written about, what, 10 years ago? 10 years ago. Okay, so it's fairly recent, and it's inspired by... It's literary characters. Literary characters. And this one specifically, is it a specific character? The name of the movie is Inamorati. Inamorati. Yeah. All right, from Commedia dell'arte. Big characters, my friends. That was definitely a big character piece. Okay, who gets this point? Who gets this star, my friends? Get ready to vote with applause. Are you voting for Team Most Awesome? <laughs> I heard that bridge, below the bridge playing. I also heard Sharon, you did this really cool like slide thing. That was incredible, just like sliding all the way up one note. Um, now, or, what do you think? Does this point belong to Team Even More Awesome Than The Most Awesome Exclamation Mark? <laughs> Even though Jonathan's voting for himself, the point goes to Team Most Awesome. Friends. 